We need to do more in order to untangle the situation. Unfortunately, we are not making much headway here, and I think the central point is that we keep returning to the beginning of the Minsk Agreement, which stated that we needed a ceasefire. And ensuing from this ceasefire, the relevant political steps would follow. In the meantime, we have started a parallel political process, but the ceasefire is essential, and of course the questions surrounding the swap of prisoners and such things. But I pointed out again how important the right to demonstrate is in a civil society, the importance of humanitarian organizations, and I also mentioned again that we have received very negative reports about the way homosexuals are treated in Chechnya. And I asked President Putin to use his influence in order to safeguard the rights of minorities. We are convinced that the resolution of the Syrian conflict can only be found through peaceful means, and only under the auspices of the United Nations. The Russian side has pointed out the need to carry out a full and comprehensive investigation of the April 4th incident. We resolutely condemn the use of chemical weapons in any form. Those guilty of deaths of Syrian civilians must be found and punished but it should be done only after a thorough and unbiased investigation. We never interfere into the political life and political process in other countries, and we would very much like that nobody interfered into our political life and into the political life in Russia. You've referred to the U.S. example, which is not confirmed by anything or anyone, these are just rumors used in the internal political struggle in the U.S.